YouTube, what's going on? We have got a, another ranked replay review. This time, Ashley versus Raziers. We have three games played by Ashley and Raziers. The uh, first two games from the same day in September, and then the last one from just a couple days ago. Ashley, of course, a guy we see in the ranked replays a lot because he's got that auto upload. But Raziers, the most recent winner of uh, a top EU 1v1 tournament. It was the DreamHack EU 1v1 section. He won it, and I think, you know, he's kind of holding the belt currently. There hasn't been a lot of big 1v1 events since then. Uh, you know, the Fear Fest won by Drally, and then the uh, Next Gen, which not everybody could play in, won by Rawas. But, I mean, truly, those are if you're Fear fans. You know about the Next Gen and the Fear Fest, but if you're not a Fear fan, then the Dream Act 1v1, probably the last big 1v1 to be played, and Razier's was the one who won it. Ashley, I think, played in it as well. I can't remember where he finished. Uh, he also played in the Fear Fest qualifiers. I think both these players played in the Fear Fest qualifiers, although they weren't able to make it through. It was a tough qualifier. There's a lot of good players, um, and only a select few. We're able to make it and play in the pool play of Fear Fest. Razier is going to score on an open net. Go up 2 1. We are watching three replays, if I forgot to mention that. I think I did, though, between Ashley and Razier's. Ashley, an interesting catch and take to the back wall as there's really nothing to be made of that. I was just talking in a uh, ranked series with Seiko. Uh, Seiko was doing a lot of what Ashley just did, and it didn't seem like a good idea. Raziers is eventually scoring off of it as well. Where you don't see players in ones take touches off the back wall very often, um, unless you know they're sure they can be shot attempts. So basically, if they're not at the back wall, but instead actually on the net or the post, uh, because tapping it off the back wall is just such a great starter touch for the other player going the other way. And Seiko is doing it a lot. Ashley kind of does that there with that double jump to the back wall. And Raziers uses that possession to go up 3-1. Three minutes left to go. Nice quick touches from Raziers. Man, I am so surprised. I guess he knows what he's doing. I, I thought he was going to have to challenge that earlier. It seemed like he didn't have loads of time, but he knew exactly how much time he had. And not only that, he knew how high it was going to bounce off that uh, touch. So he made sure to position in the right spot to get his air roll shot before Ashley able to recover and save it away. So 4-1 in favor of Azir is a hot start. Ashley can just shoot low as he rolls his dribble towards the net. Razier's doesn't react by coming down fast enough. Is showing that he wants to defend high by putting himself on the back wall. So all Ashley has to do is bring it down for a low 50 or a shot down underneath Raziers. And once again, he's going to do it. Uh, where he takes it low as soon as he sees Raziers, bring it up onto the back wall. It's hard to make those low saves when you are trying to position, um, you know, from above ground level. Raziers, the slowest dribble you've ever seen, and then the flick. And Ashley having a tough time playing that direct shadow defense. We've seen Rawas make a living out of defending that way. Ashley not able to do it in this ranked game versus Raziers. They just tried to bait Raziers into making a missed touch, but it was actually him who ended up missing the touch. Zier staying moving behind the ball. A nice jump and wave dash. Keeping his car you know, in the air and making movements prevents Ashley from feeling like he can come and challenge to take it away. And he can play out that dribble much longer than he would have been able to otherwise. Ashley's soft ground roller. He gets saved off the post and away. Raziers. Can he finish this one off? No, he didn't have the boost and in fact, he ended up greeting it just a little bit too much. Wait, no, Ashley. Oh, no. I, I would not have been surprised if Ashley ripped a forfeit. 
right after that missed open net. Sometimes that can be so frustrating. He needs a goal bad with a minute left to go to come back down two. And instead of scoring his open net, he misses it and pinches it away off the post. That is what forfeits are made of. That's if you're weak of mind like fear. But Ashley, a high level ones player, sticking in the game. Strong pinch on the wall, back to the corner where Ashley was going to be resetting on boost. And in fact, Raziers dives too deep and Ashley gets a goal off of it. It was a great setup play. It really heads up play to pinch it into the ceiling, down into the corner where he knew he was going to be. But it wasn't necessarily a goal scoring play. Not until Raziers got greedy and tried to dive in to take it away. And that's what made that play from Ashley even more impressive. But he has now potentially dove, dove in too far. He tried to get that bump on Raziers, didn't connect. See a bit of a controller drop from Ashley as the car explodes away from the net. Kick out goal though, keep a minute, 6-5. 24 seconds left to go. Ashley could afford to get another one of those quick kickoff goals. But he does have time even if he doesn't. 20 seconds can be a long time in 1v1. Raziers doing a good job. Holding on to enough boost to get that pinch and not the best of side flips by Ashley. I think he kind of pulled the trigger a little bit too soon on that offensive attempt. Made it easy for Raziers to clear away. Five seconds left to go. Raziers, an open net actually kind of flubbed the flick, but it, it shouldn't matter. It's going to be way too hard for Ashley to get underneath this ball. Game two of Ashley and Raziers queued up shortly after the first game that they played against each other. This time, both playing in the Fennec as opposed to just Raziers. I think Raziers rocking the same exact decal he played in before. Ashley playing defense off the back wall with a few pads he does have. He is able to clear the ball out to midfield. Raziers, the dribble in the air. Ashley could not challenge early enough. And Raziers will carry it into the net for the first. I wouldn't be surprised. I didn't check the exact time of these games, but this could literally be the next game that both these guys queued. Raziers trying to hold on to as much boost as possible so he takes this dribble down to the ground. Eventually pulls the trigger on his power shot. Ashley's going to have all the field in the world now. Couldn't get his dribble going fast enough. And Raziers, instead of shadowing on defense with zero boost, took the risk and challenged early. Ashley certainly could have popped it and scored on a free net. But when you're in a situation like Raziers was in, you've got to be willing to make a dangerous play every once in a while to keep the opponents guessing. And Raziers may have just found an open field and an open net as Ashley, upset with himself, once again dropping the controller. It is a little bit different for Ashley. You know, we see a lot of ones players, uh, Kinsey was the first one. As Soon as they get beat, their card completely stops and they let go of the controller. Uh, most of those players are playing with two hands though, whereas Ashley is playing with a hand and a chin. So it makes more sense for him to pull off, I imagine from his chin when he's uh, frustrated. Ashley trying to cut behind Raziers. A good use of the snaking dribble to get Raziers to miss, but man, the long shot from Raziers is in. Ashley cannot catch a break right now. Even after that great play, Raziers covers it, keeps his scoreline clean, and has kept this momentum going from the previous game between the two. Ashley, patience with not much boost. Raziers can't be said the same for him as he jumps early. Can't stick with the ball. Let's Ashley break it up and take it away. 3-0. Halfway through the game, Ashley scoreless still. Can't get to this midfield boost going to be forced to leave the ball, but will pick up his back corner 
It'll be a tough shot for his ears. He's gonna go low 50 and attempt to flick it in. Ashley, wow, not gonna be able to get a shot attempt for his ears doing a good job. But the ball getting past him, just taking it away in the air, pinching it into his corner. Ashley cannot find any offense at all. Three minutes of no goals in a 1v1 is a tough, tough break for a player as good as Ashley. Seems like he might have a chance to go for a classic air dribble, but no. The pre-jump from his ears, although it doesn't actually connect with the ball, it gets Ashley to pull off of his game and prep for the touch that his ears is going to get. And then he can't do, you know, what he's so good at doing, which is taking those wall to air dribble flip reset plays. Ashley is pretty clinical with them. But Razier's is stopping everything. There we go. That's a forfeit from Ashley, man. That has got to be so frustrating. No matter how good of a shot he takes, Razier stops him. So game two going to Razier's as well. That's a momentum win after the last game. A 3-0 dub for Razier's. Flash forward into the future. Or I guess still the slightly more recent past. Raziers and Ashley. This is not a game from the same Q session that they played the last two in. Instead, it's their most recent game played on ball chasing, which was just a few days ago. So Raziers and Ashley. Ashley has had more than enough time to shake off the tilt from the last time these two matched up against each other. So I'm sure we can expect to see some more offense from Ashley. Not quite as bad of a shutout. He is not going to be able to counter here on what felt like a pretty open opportunity. His ears a great recovery and a flick off the back wall. Now the counter is certainly going to be there. No, I think Masir is going to get there. Able to cut underneath Ashley, save it over to the right side. Another interesting missed opportunity. My goodness. Razier's. His recoveries right now are just crazy. He has made what feels like so many different mistakes. Okay, this one he can't recover from, right? Thank goodness. He recovered from, you know, equivalently bad plays, it felt like, for many, many seconds before that final one that Ashley was able to capitalize on. 1-1. One, one. His ears. The flip reset shot. Ashley couldn't react in time. His ears actually did end up taking that flip fairly far away from the net. It was certainly not impossible for Ashley to play reaction defense on it like he tried to do and save it away. But credit to his ears and a good shot and a 2-1 lead. Ashley has not been able to play his favorite game at all against his ears in these games that we've watched. He wants to go up for some wall to air dribbles and have a chance to freestyle on his opponent basically. And his ears has not allowed that. A demo and a shot for a third. Seems like a potential, you know, countering playstyle. Both these players, very high level ones players, uh, by all means could find themselves, you know, winning top tournaments like Raziers did recently. But Raziers does seem to have the edge in these ranked games so far. Ashley, the full field dribble. He's going to go 50. Just barely able to kill it. He should be able to side flip this in. Oh my goodness. Razier's is a brick wall. A great setup. And even though the first one, you know, didn't have the best chance of going in, it seemed like the continuation was about as good as Ashley could hope for, and it didn't matter. Razier's still able to keep it away. Finally, Razier's makes a mistake on defense, and he makes it deep in Ashley's half instead of on his goal line where he has been completely impenetrable. 3-2, the pre-flip kickoff from Ashley. Stopped Raziers. Trying to pound a ground shot, but it's not gonna happen. Ashley, decent recognition of what he needed to do to get it past Raziers there. As he cut the dribble, just cut it a little bit late. Couldn't get a tight enough angle to get it past. Ashley, the catch on low 50s. He's in another situation where Ashley seems to be looking for the right ideas. He's just making the moves a little bit late. We saw that on his previous dribble. We saw it right there on the low 50. He was trying to set up 
a low play. But in order to do so, you have to drop that ball down and roll it off your car by the time you're making contact with the opponent. And he's just doing it moments late, letting Wazirs be able to break it up and stop the offense. That being said, Ashley did eventually score that. That was a nutty musty. And can Razier's finish it off? He should be able to. He gets Ashley to miss. Wow. Razier's creating a lot of power out of nowhere with that bounce setup for the musty. Normally you see players, you know, carrying the ball in order to find the perfect spot for that shot. But Razier's just doing it off the bounce, putting himself up 4-3. With a minute 40 left to go, a tap on net. Placed well, gonna force Ashley to make a save. Enough time to steal as much boost on the map as possible, but Ashley doing a good job picking up pads, trying to make a challenge. She's feeling the pressure with maybe a minute 30 left to go. Does not like being behind and wants to make a play, but can't do it. Ears from the corner. His flick saved away fairly easily. But he's not leaving, not necessarily because he wants a shot attempt, but he just wants to maintain possession. And he seems to have done so. He'll get one more shot that Ashley saves away. Ashley, a demo. This should be an easy bucket from the back wall. Nice play from Ashley. In fact, Ashley just logged onto Steam while I'm recording this. So that's a good sign for him. I know this has already happened, but that must mean something. Also, I'm recording this at a crazy time for Ashley. Ashley getting caught underneath the ball. His ears chipping it over, up two, with 43 seconds left to go. It is 9 p.m. my time, which means maybe we've actually gotten to the morning. You know what, it's maybe starting to get late enough that EU is early, early morning. No, I think, I think Ashley's just up late. I think that would make more sense. But a tap for a fifth. 30 seconds left to go. Ashley needs another. Can he use the power of the fact that he's currently on the game to go back in time and help him in this 1v1? We'll have to see. Ashley not able to bump his ears. Nice single jump wave to Ashley. Stay away from it. He's got the 100 boost. He should be able to continue this keep away game. Ashley does get a long clear. And the back corner, Raziers. Clearing it away, the dunk from Ashley. He actually has a great possession, a great opportunity. Can he cut underneath this ball? Ooh, just a little bit too much speed. He won't be able to take the shot first, so he has to roll it to the sidewall. And now he's gonna have a hard time sticking with it because Raziers can just fake and let it hit the ground. 6-5, Razier is going to win all three of these games uh, against Ashley that they've played recently on ball chasing. Razier's showing why he won most recent 1v1 event.